With practice it, exercise 6.17 input stats, we want to write a method named input stats. It's going to take a scanner representing a file as a parameter and reports various statistics about the file. And then it's telling us what we should be returning here. So we want to report the line number, how many tokens are in the line, and the longest number of tokens. After this, we want to print out the longest line. So since we're just printing information, it's going to return void meaning it's not going to return anything. We'll have public void input stats. And then inside of here, we're just going to take our file. So we have scanner file. We can close this up. And now we are going to start our code. So I already coded this out. I'm just looking at my notes. Some things that I explained might not be in the order that I coded them uh, because this would take a little second for me to write out. Um, but I'll do my best to go in order as I went solving this problem. So for the code that I wrote, the first thing that I want to do is we know that we have to count how many tokens we have. So this is for counting tokens, right? And since we want to um, see the longest um, number of tokens, the longest like this would be in this first row, and the next row the longest is six, so it would probably be like, not catch, but um, it would be something inside of here where it is six. Uh, line three, we have something like six right here. And then line four, we have 14. This one has the longest one. I think six might include this comma. So we have to compare the previous token to our current token. So inside of here, I'm gonna do int prev tokens, and we're setting this equal to zero. And then I'm also going to have int tokens and I'm going to start this out as one because it assumes that we have an input file with at least one line and one token. So I'm going to start out with one token here. This um, I found through debugging works the best starting out with one. Through debugging I also found out that we're going to start our lines out with zero. So int line is equal to zero. We started off with zero and then once we go into our while loop that reads through the entire file we're going to increment this straight away. So this is for our lines. Now we want to have something that stores the longest token. So this is storing that right here. We're gonna call it int longest token and we're setting it equal to zero. We can end this line. Now we want to store the longest line. So longest line is in here. We have the string along this line and we're going to just set it equal to nothing right now. So we have int the longest token and then we have string the longest line. That's going to store this information uh, or that's not going to store this information. The line is going to store this information. Longest token is going to store this information um, and then our tokens I believe is going to store like this information how many tokens we have. Not previous tokens but tokens. And then the longest line is going to store this right here. So every time we go down each line, we're also going to compare lines, but we're going to come back to the longest line and we're going to implement that afterwards. So the first thing we want to do is reading through the file line by line. That's going to be this first while loop. So we have while or file dot has next line. We're basically going to check if the file passed in has the next line. When we check the, when we use has next line, it doesn't kind of use the line only when we do next line or next does it actually grab the line and pull it out of the scanner so once we're inside of here we want to get the specific line now inside of here we want to have a current line that we're looking at so we want to actually just look at the specific line and the way we're going to do this is store this in a string the reason why we need to store this in a string is because if we just call file.nextline into something, it's going to store it there. And since we have to compare them, we might need this later. If we don't need this later, that's fine. We can always clean up our code and just put it in. What I'm talking about is that we're going to make this string right here, current line, and set it equal to file.nextline. So we get the line and we store it inside of here. Now we can use current line wherever we want inside of here. I'm gonna have a scanner that goes through this entire line so we'll have scanner. That way we're able to get each token in the line. So we're passing in current line. 
And we could easily just put this inside of here, but we might want to use this file.nextLine later in our code. So right now we're going to store it in current line. If we never use it and we only use it here, we can just put this inside of here. It also makes things a little easier to read. Now we are going to increment lines because we are on a new line, right? If the file has a next line, we know that we have another line. So we are going to do lines plus plus. So that's going to be that line. Next, we're going to want to store the current word, right? So we have our current line and the current line currently stores the line, but we have different words inside of here. So we want to get the line that we're looking or the get the um, the token that we're looking at. So get token to look at. Obviously, this is going to be stored in a string because it's a name. So we'll have string current word is equal to line dot next. We're just getting the next line, putting it in current word. Now, once this starts, right? Because this is starting our line, right? We're grabbing our entire line right here. We're not looking at the individual tokens yet. We're just grabbing this line. Okay, and then we're storing the first thing, this beware, we're storing it inside of current word right here. So now that that's stored there, we want to say that this is the longest token, right? Because what if there's nothing else left in here? What if this is the longest token? We're just going to set this initially to be the longest token. So this is just initializing. Probably spelled that wrong, but we're just going to set longest token equal to the current word dot length. This is how we're going to get the longest token for all of these. We're just going to look at the length of it. So we have a current word, which is the first word. We'll use this first line as an example, and then dot length. So we're getting the length of it. Now is where we want to go through the entire line, word by word. So we get line by line. Now we're going specifically word by word. What this means is that we're going to use another while loop. And we're going to run this as long as our line dot has next. If we do has next line, we're checking if we have a next line. If we do has next, it's checking if we have next. So every time we have next, just like we increment this part right here, we're going to want to increment our tokens. So we'll do tokens plus plus because we have a new um, word inside of here. Now we are going to look at our current inside of here. So we have our current word, which is the line.next. So if we have this line.next, um, we're going to get that inside of current word. And that's going to be the first word. Then we're going to want to look at the next one. So the next one will be the we'll do string current is equal to line.next. The reason why we get this here is because we simply need to compare them. So inside of here, right, we have beware stored inside of this. Inside of current, we have the. So if the is greater than beware, which it's not, we are going to want to increase the longest. And then we're also going to have to switch the longest. Um, I don't think we switched the longest uh, line in here. I think we only just switched the length of the token. So we're going to make a check for that. We're going to say if, and we're comparing the lengths now. So we'll do if our longest token, which remember is an int, stores a length. If our longest token is less than our current dot length, which is basically the current line, which is the, or if we say the is stored in current word in Jabberwock is now stored in current, well, current is greater than this. So we want the current length to now be the longest token. So inside of here, we're going to just easily set longest token to be equal to current dot length. So we get the length inside of here. That's going to be it. We can close this while loop, and this is going to continuously run every single time. And it's going to compare the words. So after this while loop right here, we're going to want to print out, right? Because again, this while loop, this, this single while loop is going to go through every single token in this line, right? And we're comparing the longest token to um, the next, the current, right? That's what we're, that's what we're currently doing. So this while loop is really important when we're going through every single line. 
Now, after this is where we're going to want to print. So this is just printing information after each line. That's why we do it outside of this while loop, which I think, um, actually, no, that's why we have to do it outside of this while loop, because this goes through each word. But we still have to do it inside of this while loop, because it goes through each line. So we're going to do a system dot out dot print line and then inside of here we're just going to have the information so we'll do line space we're going to append to it our lines information the variable lines append to it has our token information so i think i wrote this as tokens um, and then we are going to add some more text i believe it's longest equals and then we're going to add the longest token information. And then after we add the longest token, uh, I think it wants another parenthesis. So we're just going to append to it another parenthesis like this. And then we can end our line. Now, this is where our prev token comes into play. With our prev token, right, we're going to want to basically uh, have however many tokens. After this runs, we want to update this, right? If it's the first line, previous tokens is going to be one. So that means our longest line, we need to set it equal to the first line. Now let's look at the second one. Our previous tokens, after we run this, should be set equal to our tokens, right? Because previous tokens is now going to hold the size of this line. How many tokens? The biggest token in this line. Now, this line right here has more, right? It has more tokens. So we'll use an if statement to say, if this line has more tokens than this line, that means our longest line is going to be this line. So we're going to do this right here. We're going to say if our prev tokens, because remember it starts out at zero, is less than our tokens, we're going to set our longest line equal to the current line that we're looking at. Now, after we do this, because we're still in this while loop right here where it goes through every single line remember we want to set our prev tokens equal to the current tokens so tokens like this that way we can update it for every single line and then we want to reset our tokens here tokens initially started out as one so we'll do tokens is equal to one from here we should be able to just close this i don't think it likes um, how I have this if statement set up, but remember if an if statement has just one line in it It doesn't need these brackets, but we'll put them in just because this practice it likes it um, Inside of here we can close this Maybe I'm missing something. So we have this to print the brackets of the while loop This should go with the if statement uh, or, or the while loop right here. I'm not sure why it does that We might be able to figure out some more information uh, Later when we actually run it, but let's just put this right here now from here we want to print out the longest line once we're done with all of this inside of here printing out the longest line we're going to have another system dot out dot print line and then we want to print out longest line and then if i can spell it correctly we are going to want to append the information for our longest line so we'll put that data inside of here and then we could just end our function. Let's see where that missing bracket is. So it's missing a parenthesis for the system dot out dot print line. So if I come back here, um, what I'm going to do is go on to the next line because it seems to be really a long line. So I'm going to just append to it this parenthesis, which is in our string going to add a parenthesis to close it up I'm gonna end this this should go with this while loop right here so all of this is in case this is gonna go over here it's gonna go like this we are missing a semicolon right here and a semicolon right here so once that's all corrected it says variable line is already defined in the method input scanner and it cannot find the symbol lines so 
I think this should be the lines. Be careful when you have very close names like this. It could get very confusing. We can submit it again. Cannot find the symbol uh, prev tokens. I put prev token, not prev tokens. So let's just get rid of the S right here. Get rid of the S. Just very simple spelling and syntax errors. If we had an IDE, it'd be also very helpful. So we can see what we got wrong here. So it looks to be a spacing issue with this. So other than that, the output looks the same. So let's go up here, put a space here. We'll submit it again. It's gonna run its test. Still got something wrong. So let's see, what is the difference? All this looks the same. And it looks like I miss putting tokens right here. So we can go back here. There does not need to be a space here. And it needs to have the string tokens with the space. Submit it again. And we still got an error. So line one, two, three, four looks correct. Has, and then we don't have a space in between here. So this needs a space right here. Submitting it one more time. <laughs> it's running the tests and we passed three out of three tests. So that's the code that I created to solve this problem. Might be a more efficient way to do it. Possibly getting rid of this current line and just putting file.next inside of here. I don't know if I use this anywhere else. We can just omit that and try it now. Oh, see current line is used right here. It's important and only use it for when we're comparing. So we'll put that right there and run it again just to make sure it works. And it does not work. No tokens remain in input. So let's change this back because we had file.next line inside of here and we should have had current line. Because every time we call the next line, it's going to uh, use up part of the token in our file and it's not gonna be there anymore. But that's passing through the tests with this code, practice the exercise, 6.17 input stats. It was a long one.